Welcome back to chapter 18. We're going to talk about the filter um, effects this time. So just go ahead and right click here, choose Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. This will open up Camera Raw, and then we'll go ahead and choose Open Image. Okay, now we have this nice picture here. If your panels don't look like this, go ahead and click Reset Panels, and then double click on the project bin so we have some more real estate to work with. One thing that I usually do is I'll double click on the, on the lock icon convert it will convert it to AM 8 bit and I'll I'll call it O R I G I N A L original and click OK and then I'll immediately press Control J to duplicate it. Yes this can work in 16 bit but I usually work with 8 bit sometimes, not all the time, because I usually like to do effects with two layers. Okay, so one of the things that we have here is under the effects we can have filter effects. We can click here, we can have layer styles. Yeah, photo effects, and then you can further customize by choosing which ones you want to look at. So if you want to look at frame or something of that sort, you could show all. And we'll go back here to the filters, okay? And then we're going to apply the, this chalk and charcoal. And to do that, you, would, you can either click once and click apply or double click on it. Now the advantage is this is quick and easy. The disadvantage is you can't customize it. Remember in the filter gallery, we could customize it by moving the sliders back and forth. Here you can. So let's go ahead and apply it. And depending on the filter, it may take a little bit of time or not. And that looks nice. So sometimes I'll come in here and I'll reduce the opacity a little, maybe like 74% to make it look a little bit better. And you can also choose uh, blend modes. So that looks nice. That's not bad. So let me click undo. Okay, and then let's click on the layer styles. And let's choose this this not noisy we'll choose low okay and if you notice it applied the, the it applied the layer style around the whole layer why because it because this is full so if I were to take the eraser okay and erase this top photo watch what happens so we'll go to the clouds and erase part of the just to show you and illustrate better here so as you can see the layer style is now applied around this cloud because this part is missing from the layer so it just goes around the edges there. See? So that's interesting. So let me press undo. Okay. Now let's go over to the photo effects. And then if you want, you can scroll down and apply a tint. A nice little sapia tint. That's nice. What's great about that is it added another layer for you. Or you can choose the rubber stamp. Let me click undo first because it'll work better with because this one's intensive. This will ask you if you want to merge a layer, so you better be sure. And then this will apply the rubber stamp, as you'll see. Okay, so you can see the final effect of the rubber stamp, and then I will click on the zoom tool, fit and screen, so we can see it better. So there's another effect. So we've applied three different effects using three different areas, and it's pretty quick and convenient. So in the next chapter, we're going to talk about the content panel.